Hello, Grumpy Old Fart here. Um, I'm doing a family game night video about Recon, the role-playing game. And I did a, I've done videos on that in the past, so go back and check some of those out so you'll understand what it is. Recon is a role-playing game of modern warfare. It generally starts in Vietnam, but you can work your way up to being a mercenary. I've talked about that. Go check those videos out. Now, <clears throat> um, I have stated in, in other games how certain games are modifiable. You can use them for a variety of different things. Uh, Recon is no exception. Recon is easily, easily modifiable. You can use any, almost any genre with it. You can have your soldier fighting against virtually any anything on anything come out in cinema. Any anything you can imagine. Uh, I have run players against things in the past that have piqued their interest, and usually it comes from movies that they saw or whatever, and they, they talked about it, so I'll work up a game a few months later, I'm ready to go, and, you know, a few weeks or months or whatever. Uh, I have uh, run my son against Swamp Monsters, uh, a la The Legend of Boggy Creek. I have run them against uh, players against aliens, because they really liked V and World War A, the, there's a... A television program called World War A. Uh, Independence Day was real big in the, back in the day, so, you know. Uh, I have run them against Bigfoot. I have run them against giant snakes, like the like from the Anaconda movies. I have run them against giant spiders, like from Lord of the Rings. Uh, sentient sharks, like from Deep Blue Sea. Uh, undead zombies, there's tons of movies about that. Uh, super soldiers, some usually... You know, from like a mad scientist or something. Werewolves, gargoyles, mummies, metahuman, superhuman people, demons, and possessed people. Like a demon could jump from person to person. I did that once. That really, <laughs> really got him. Um, and usually, uh, like I said, these effects are mad science or, you know, some arcane ancient sorcery or something. But the beauty of this is to role playing game. You can do just about anything with like it. The key to running these types of games in Recon, for example, is you don't want to make the paranormal the norm. You want to make it completely outside the norm. That way your your soldier from modern combat has a grounding in reality. <clears throat> um, now, you can make it to where these soldiers hunt down the paranormal all the time, and that's fine. But have a, a separate game set up for that so that they can run their regular recon characters in regular warfare um you don't want to give the the one of the things main main things you want to watch out for is you don't want to give the player characters evidence you don't want to give them a way to prove their story because if they do it ruins your entire game and, and now if you want to actually take the whole game that direction that's fine but if you don't, if you just want to do a quick thing, oh look, they found Bigfoot, and then go back to the norm, you don't want to be able to give them evidence of that. Because you, one of your players, I guarantee you, will stand in front of Congress saying, we need funding to go and find Bigfoot. You know, here's your evidence. You know. And uh, that, that just, that, that would ruin your, your whole thing. But, <clears throat> without proof, they tend to keep their mouth shut. That's the way that works. And, uh, the only problem, the only thing you have to worry about when you're when you're doing a monster scenario in a recon game is you've got to work up the stats because they're not in the books. And just be reasonable. Don't make the monster so badass that a soldier can't kill him because otherwise, what's the point? But don't make him so wimpy so that the soldiers don't have a challenge. And so when when you get uh, when you get into games like that, have a separate. You know, you you have gamers and they're playing in this recon game. Well, if you're going to do a paranormal type thing where they're hunting down aliens or Bigfoot or whatever, have them make separate characters and run a separate game. Keep the two games separate. This is standard recon. This is your monster game. And, and, and it should work out fine. I don't see a problem with it. But people tend to try to mix and match. And after a while, it gets, you know, eventually there's going to be proof. Some guy's going to throw a Bigfoot over his shoulder and run for the border and actually make it to, you know, because you can't fight, you can fight the die rolls to some degree, but you can't, you, you can't eliminate that ability from a player because that tends to create arguments. And you, that's one thing you don't want in the game. You don't want to argue. The whole point is to have fun. 
So if, if you're going to do that, keep those two different genres separate. But other than that, it's fun. I enjoy running those. Uh, my son, his, uh, he has a sniper right now. He's in South America training, in, uh, training people to fight against insurgents. Kind of like they did in Vietnam, but this is in South America, right? And unbeknownst to him, because he's in the other room, hopefully he's asleep. <laughs> but unbeknownst to him, uh, there's a laboratory in the area that is doing genetic experimentation, and you know, the, <laughs> they're cranking out critters, and they run the patrols run into them occasionally. At the same time, on the other end of their area of operation. There's a village that has regular contact with aliens, so I'm trying to get the a little more uh, variety into it, you know. And I've got like three different kinds of aliens that come and visit. Now, this is uh, this is my son running solo, so you can do that. If you have a group that you want to do that with, that's fine. But like I said, just keep them separate. Um, I hope this is informative and and helps you to run a, a more imaginative game, because. Now keep in mind, <laughs> I was uh, I was playing in a D and D game one time, and there was a there was a, an earthquake or something, and the town wanted us to go and uh, investigate. And it turns out we found a citadel sticking up out of a out of a mountain. And the citadel was actually, at least in our terminology, it was a citadel. What had happened was an alien spaceship had crashed into this mountain. And it was a bunch of aliens in there, hurt and dead and whatever. And there was a few running around that, you know, were trying to keep us out, as it were. So we were running into monsters we'd never seen before, technology, you know, that kind of thing. Weird stuff. So you can do that in just about any game. But given our current climate and that the Pentagon and the U.S. Navy has announced that UFOs are indeed real, Maybe it's something you want to check out in your recon game. At any, at any rate, the whole point of these is to have fun. And variety is literally the spice of life. You folks have a good day. God bless one and all.